Okay, so this is version two. About a year ago, we did a video with a Vertex bag. Um, had a seven and a half inch AR pistol in it. That was the EDC ready. That was the EDC ready, right. <clears throat> um, I wanted a little longer um, pistol just for in case I had to reach out and touch somebody with a little more accuracy. So I got this bag, it's the Gamut Plus. And start off here, I keep a tourniquet in the side. Uh, sport smoke right there. It's the EG18 for concealment. Uh, you got plenty of pockets here if you want to put anything on this side. Keep some extra medical on this side. It's an SOE med tray, pull out tray. It's got uh, basically like an IFAC. And I've got a fixed blade Emerson and a surefire light here. That zips back up there. You also have this front pocket. I'm currently not running anything in it. Got these little hooks here if you wanted to run like a back, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, like a sleeping bag or a helmet, bump helmet, bicycle helmet. What's cool is you do have Molly in there. Yep. And, and Velcro too. Yeah. Molly and Velcro. Yep. I love Vertex bags. Uh, the great thing I like about these two is, let me flip it over, I'll kind of get to the bag before we get to the inside. I like this pull tab, like if you want a quick pull, open it up. Dang. So I do have a Glock um, 23 in here, uh, a couple of spare mags. And this is all Velcro. This is the Vertex Tekagami. Yep. It's, it's a uh, design to attach this uh, female Velcro. Right. So it's got the uh, loop here, uh, the hook on this. This is a little SOE 2 mag card. This is what I love about it. So I run a Premier Body Armor uh, Level 3A. Uh, stops all pistol ammo of the 44 magnum Super 12 thin. gauge and just specifically designed for that particular yeah, gun. so if you see i really love this because it's a long panel so imagine if i just take the bag and put it on backwards look how much protection i've got pretty cool yeah uh, you know we're all big fans of premiere here uh, I, me included uh, so yeah run the uh, panel in the back So I like the shoulder straps, they're really comfortable. Let's get to the meat and potatoes on the inside. Uh, so it's got, well, it's got a little zip back, you know, here for like sunglasses or keys. I don't run anything there. So I've got a door to break it open. There's a 10 and a half inch AR pistol. Immediately in the top here, I've got an extra tourniquet and stage and an extra mag. Also have a marine smoke right here. If I'm grabbing that first, throwing that out uh, for concealment. Here's the pistol. Um, this is a ten and a half. Why don't you bring it out here into the light? Okay. It's got the Law Tactical folder, the SBA3, SB Tactical brace, it's Aero Precision lower. This is a PSA upper with the M lock rail. Uh, this is not a vertical foregrip. This is the BCM. So according to the ATF, it's okay to run on a pistol. See how it's got that little tiny angle to it? Yep. That makes it okay. Pull it down a little bit. There you go. Perfect. I've got the Surefire light, uh, single stage, uh, the Magpul mount, uh, Sig Romeo 5. I like these Sig Romeos. Got the Magpul backup sights and the Radian uh, charging handle. And the cool thing about the SB3 is that it also adjusts adjustable. for length of pull. Nice. And then the Law Tactical folder allows me to fold it up, <clears throat> excuse me, and fit it in the bag. How long is the barrel on that one? It's a 10 and a half inch barrel and it's got this uh, 
a suppressor or excuse me flash can uh, so it, it runs out to 12 inches overall nice nice um, so yeah I'll put this back so uh, sling I've got the uh, got a tourniquet on the sling this is a new product by Blue Force Gear uh, it's not designed to do this uh, it's just designed to be a sling holder but I really like how I can secure a tourniquet in there See it run, Jody. All right, cool. Let me get some eyes and ears on, and uh, we'll put some rounds down. I really like this PCM handle. Pretty cool. I'm turning the brightness up on this Romeo. Let me drop these sights. Feels good, man. I got a few more rounds in there. You want to give it a whirl? Sure. Cool. Very cool. Nice. That BCM handle's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, very cool. Feels good. Yeah, I like running those, those Lancer, Lancer mags. mags. These are, Joey yeah. turned me on to these. These are the smoke ones. So you can see how many rounds you got in there. They also have the metal feed lips. Yeah, I love those mags. Very good. That's really cool, Jody. Thanks, man. Yeah, grab and go version two. <laughs> Something else in there, huh? Yeah, so uh, also the idea is this is a grab and go bag. A laptop in there? Yeah, it looks like a laptop bag, huh? So this is the SOE BBD bag. And I got a couple cam lights on the outside. This zips open. I can throw it over my shoulder. And I'm running three P mags here, two P mags here, another small uh, small sport smoke. And then this is another medical module inside. So tourniquet, compression bandage, compression gauze, MPA, improvised chest seals so the idea is i can take this throw it over my shoulder grab the pistol out sling it and then get to the fight so if i have to use it i'm, I'm ready to roll nice and it all fits in this uh gamut plus bag from vertex and so i'll the idea also is to stage an extra magazine in case I don't, I can't grab this bag. I've got an extra magazine I can grab, stick in my back pocket, and uh, of course tourniquets if something's already happened, active shooter, something like that. I've got a couple here, and also carry one on my person every day too. So yeah, so the idea is just to have a bag that can go. Uh, from the house to the car, from the car to the office, from the office to the car, and back in at night in case I ever need a long gun, you know, for protection or come up across a scene where I need extra medical. Zombies. Zom well, you know, always zombies. <laughs> Vampire zombies especially. Yeah. So. Anyway, yeah, I hope you like this. Uh, give you some ideas. If you have any ideas, let us know what you would do different, how you would set yours up. I think it's fun kind of uh, also thinking about different, you know, applications and options for it. But, uh, you know, we always want to be vigilant uh, in self protection. All right, very cool. Thank you for showing this to us, Jody. Check out Jody's channel. It's Weapons Junkie. Definitely check out Vertex and SOE. Yeah, Premier and Premier. Mm -hmm. For sure. Great companies. Thanks again, Jody. Thank you. I appreciate it.